bomb. Look at that color. Isn't it? The lip is all right. It's like a six out of Awesome. I love Kira. What's up guys? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. It is a fantastic day down under. Let's see what shells we can find today. I'm hoping for a nice little helmet. That would be awesome. Let's get into it. We have a really good looking pile of shells all along here, which looks cool. Haven't seen a nice pile here in a while. That looks like a cool clam shell. These are everywhere. Like there's thousands of these along this beach here. Got a nice little pile of cowries in here. Water's pretty warm. It's a super flat day today. It's a nice little one. Got a load of cowries in here. This is a older blue cowrie. What's that here? Prickly droop. Awesome. Nice. That's very nice condition. <clears throat> about in here look how clear the water is it's fantastic I love it old strombus another one of those green cowries look how clear this is my goodness really old strombus there I'll leave that nice little bunch to start off with oh is that a giant clandestine sure is holy moly that's huge. Cool pattern too. I really like that one. It's a lot of good stuff today already. It's a little dog whelk. No, it's more a seraph cone. So many piles. Oh, there's more around here. A really nice pile right here. Is that a little grape? I think it might be. It is? Yes, it's definitely a grape. Pretty worn out. But we do have a nice pile here that I would love to check out. Urgh. Anything underneath? Bunch of live stuff. Not too much though. Not too much goodies. How about here? Under this rock. Sorry, buddy. Not too Another much. Another nice little pile around here. I do see a bonnet shell. Is it whole? It is whole. Nice. Guys, comment down below in the comment section what you think we will find in today's episode. I think we're going to find a little helmet shell. I'd love to find a little helmet shell. Oh, is that another bonnet? bonnet? It sure is. Wow. Two bonnets and a little blue cowrie. Nice. Let me flip it over. Cool. What about here? Is that another blue cowrie? It sure is. Looks really old though. I have so, so many blue cowries. They are so common here at this particular beach. So I think I'll leave it for somebody else. Move further down the line here, I see a little, um, what is it? Harry Triton, that's it. Nice, really cool color. Cool as. I wanna lift up some rocks here as well. So many piles. That was loud. Ooh. Is that a textile cone? Surely. Oh my goodness, it sure is. Look at that. That is awesome. Empty, of course. Yep. Wow. That is incredible condition. Look at those colors. The lip is all right. It's like a six out of 10 lip. Really nice point. It's a small one, but it's beautiful. Awesome, I just arrived. No joke, like five minutes ago. Just been walking down this little pathway here and score straight away. Awesome. Drop a like for that one. Deadly textile cone shell. Awesome. Oh. See what's under this big bad boy. If I can get my hand under it. I left my gloves at home 
in the jet ski. So I don't think I'm working with gloves today, but that's all right. I'm relatively careful. It's such a beautiful day. I'd love to go out on the jet ski today. See some more piles around here. Holy moly. This looks like an X uh, micro shell pile gathering around here. For sure. Wow. Let's check out under some Rockies. Mr. Krabs, sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you, mate. That's a cool little cowrie. Got a big pile. I see a bubble shell too. Look at that one. Nice. Not really looking for micro shells today, so we might come back to that later. And we'll head down this way. Is that a old spondylus piece kinda I guess it is it's just a really uh, funky one I guess I won't keep it they always show up here a little coral piece pretty cool again they're everywhere here I usually only take the nice ones and look at that a curica sitting waiting for me awesome I love curica cowries Sweet as. Nice. Let's check that out again. Beautiful. Piece of uh, sea sponge. Dead old sea sponge. Nasty. They always stinky. They are nasty when they are dead. Let's check it out. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. You can hide under my foot. Not much under there. Not much under there. Ooh, that looks like a nice stuck blue cowrie. Not too stuck at all, but that is definitely very nice. Cool. Awesome. A lot of blue cowries today. Missed out on this pile here. It's like another micro shell pile if I don't see anything big or gem that looks big though big old bean cowrie cool definitely gonna keep that I think we'll come back to this pile later I'm pretty excited to check out that pile over there that's always the What's under here? Uh, looks like just a super old money ca uh, blue cowrie or something. I see a bonnet shell in this pile. Oh, and maybe a deer cowrie. Do I see a deer cowrie? I sure do. Super old one. Nice. Definitely a keeper. Cool as. And then this is what I originally spotted. The bonnet shell. So we got a bonnet shell and a deer cowrie. Guys, if you are new to the channel, subscribe down below. It is free. And we upload uh, shelling videos basically every single day. As much as I can. Just like this video here. So if you love shells and you love Australia, subscribe below. I can't believe we found a textile cone straight off the bat. That was awesome. Really nice amount of piles too. Like there's just shells everywhere. A nice little pile of shells I was talking to you guys about just a couple seconds ago. What is that? No idea what that is, but we'll get that out of the ocean. For sure. Hmm, what do we see? What do we see? I'd love to find a Chinese carry or a Crabaria. Anything cool in here?
big old erosa. No, it's definitely, I think it's a cherry carry. Yeah, definitely. But it's way too old to keep, I reckon. So I'll leave that for someone else. A little snake head. Very cool. Again, I've got way too many of these, so I think I'll leave that for someone else to find. What about down here? Is that a bubble shell? It sure is. A little bit broken. Definitely a keeper. I love the bubble shells. Any more piles? It's like 0.8 of a meter, and that's pretty high, but it's really low. Look at this bonnet here. Oh, cool. Check in bonnet. Love it. Awesome. That's really nice. I haven't found one of those in a while. Sweet as. I'm definitely the first one to be shelling today here. Because I'm finding a lot of good stuff. Anything around here? What cowrie is that? Just a common sort of cowrie. Maybe a blue cowrie or something. Got way too many like that. Giant hairy triton shell. I guarantee it's alive. Yep. Wow. That is long. Look at that color. Isn't that incredible to see? So if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen these before, all this moss and algae and hair, what we call it, is totally normal. And uh, the shell is actually growing all of this hair along with the shell. This is to keep it camouflaged and that sort of thing. Stay away from all the predators trying to get it, trying to eat it up. But uh, yeah, that's why they call it a hairy triton shell. It's pretty cool, right? I love them. They are so cool. See you later, buddy. Guys, I guarantee there is a crab in here because, yeah, exactly what I was saying. Because the shell just randomly doesn't be thrown up on its own up this high on a rock. So that's cool. Hey, Mr. Crabs, you got cool blue eyes. Awesome. Well, I'll leave you be, buddy. You've got a really nice home. I just found one of your homes a couple of uh, minutes ago. A nice little Curica. That was cool. Interesting. He had a really cool body. He, was, he had like red arms and blue eyes. That's epic. I never usually find too much around here. Around here though, sometimes some piles get trapped. You never know. Or even up here sometimes. Never really had too much luck. Broken cherry piece. Whoa. That was a big one. All right, I'm gonna keep heading down the beach this way where it's a bit lower. I think we have a cherry cowrie shell hidden. Or a deer. Wow, that's cool. That's definitely Oh man, that's hard to tell, but I'm gonna go with a uh, deer cowrie. It's super thin. It's definitely a deer cowrie though, because at this size, whenever a cherry grows this big, they definitely start to have purple teeth. And this one doesn't. So I'm definitely gonna say that it is a deer cowrie. Nice. What do we got down here? More piles. Piles everywhere today. It's glory. Oh, that's a nice pile. Still a bit high up here. Let's just wait for it. Can't see much of interest. Anything here? Stuck around. Anything under there? Don't think so. So I just found this piece. 
This is a piece of a princely cone shell. Never, ever, ever seen a piece even found around here. Again, this is pretty much as dangerous as a live textile cone shell, but I've just never seen a piece here. So that's really awesome. I'm definitely gonna keep that. How cool is that? I've come here like the past, what, three years, basically every single day. Never found a piece of it. So that's something new. Maybe we can find the whole one soon. That would be incredible. I love cone shells. Yes, I think we have a giant uh, fishing lure. I just got to work out how to get down to it before a big wave comes. I've only ever found one big old fishing lure. Holy moly, that thing is huge. Looks like a much older one as well because it looks like it's made out of wood. That's cool. I like that. Definitely gonna keep that for my shell room. Well, I don't really have much of a shell room anymore, but I do have a shell display in my room. So that'll go up next to the other one. So, uh, just hanging around the volute spot here. I come down through this trail, check around here, and look at that. How cool does that look? So that is a Gordy Nordica with a uh, blue cowrie stuck inside of it. And that blue cowrie looks like an awesome conditioned shell. I am not gonna take that one out. That is incredibly cool to find them so stuck in between each other. How awesome is that? I absolutely love these Gordy Nordicas. They are pretty hard to find here in Australia. Well, at this particular beach anyway. I've only found about six or seven in the couple of years that I've been coming here every single day. So that is really cool. I really like that. Wow. Drop a like for that one, you guys, if you haven't already. Drop a like. That's a really nice uh, crown cone. Wow. That's gonna go in the collection. That's for sure. Awesome. We have hit the jackpot so far today, guys. We have found the textile cone, Gordy Nordica, a bunch of cowrie shells. Spot on today. Let's keep searching through the beach and see what we can find. Thanks, cowrie shell, you guys. It's been a while since I've found one. I think. Wow, it is super old. It definitely needs a bleach bath, that's for sure. But that is awesome. It's been a while since I've found one. So much variety in today's video. We have found so much good stuff. It's awesome. Anything else around here? We've still got so much beach to cover, you guys. I am so excited to check it all out. Anything under here? Stuck? Can you guys spot anything? Nope. Let's keep moving down. Yeah, Checkered Bonnet Bay now. This is usually one of my glory spots. This is usually where I found or find a lot of good stuff. Look at this, we got a massive pile already. Let's check it out. Maybe some textiles waiting for me. I've got more piles over there. I'm gonna wait a little bit for this. I'm gonna come back to it. Because I wanna check out Checkered Bonnet Bay. Wow, look at that pectin I see. Wow. Orange as can be. How good is that? Awesome as. Beautiful, awesome. Ah, there's a uh, broken textile cone. That's a shame, it's got a nice point to it. Dang, that must have been beaten by the seas. All right, let's keep going down the line. See what else we can find. Anything through here? Nope. Don't really want to dig through much today as I don't have my gloves. If I think something cools down there or it's a little bit safe to do it, then I'll give it a go. Look at that. Nice. Nice cherry just sitting there. Awesome. See, I was, ex I was explaining the deer cowrie earlier on. That the deer cowrie have uh, 
no purple teeth and then these two here both have purple teeth that's how you can tell the difference <coughs> between a deer cowrie and a cherry cowrie cherry cowrie shells have purple teeth deers do not these are a lot uh, rounder as well so there's a little bit of uh, information for you guys they are beautiful let's place them on the rock here for a nice little photo awesome I love cherries. They are so perfect. Incredible. Awesome. Anything down here? See, through this little area, I think I would be more compelled to dig through it. But uh, maybe on the way back. Good size. Definitely worth the effort. Awesome. S. And that is incredible condition. Pretty cool. Definitely one of the best juveniles I've ever 